quarter past seven in the evening and it's 26 degrees Celsius outside so really really warm um, you know for this time in the evening that's pretty unusual so made some pretty good progress with turning up the fastings on Andromeda I thought I would have to replace a lot of them um, but actually once you sort of bash all the paint and stuff off them um, there's quite a lot of copper there still so they're in really good condition actually um, I've managed to tighten up a lot of the original fastenings um, instead of taking them out a few have had to come out uh, because the robes are just falling apart and the nails are just loose in the holes so they're going to be replaced with a slightly bigger set um, but mostly I've been able to tighten them up which has been really good so we're going to go and have a look at the boat now and I'm going to talk you through the process of exactly how this works um, using a hammer, a punch, a roving tool, a big heavy weight and a ball peen hammer uh, and a copper nail and a rove and two planks and a, and a frame uh, we're going to have a look at how this process works okay so here we are on the outside of the boat and we've got a whole row of nails here that supposedly need tightening up refastening uh, a lot of these in actual fact have already been done apart from this row down here uh, which you can't quite see it's just out of shot but there's a couple of nails sticking out there so the first thing you need to know is this involves two people there's no way around that so I've got a couple of different punches here two different sizes um, because I've got big nails going through the frames this one up here and then slightly smaller nails just going through the planks okay like this one here every other nail is big small big small big small big small unless there's something else going on but that generally is the case so the first thing that happens is hammer punch okay the nail from the outside gets punched in I would like to say at this point you definitely need ear defenders doing this because it's very loud um, and quite a lot of effort goes into banging these nails so the nail gets punched in from the outside once it's all the way in and it will have closed up this outside plank onto this plank hopefully a little bit we then use this tool here okay it doesn't look that big but in actual fact I'm going to estimate that this weighs about 18 to 20 kilograms it's very heavy okay and you can see it's got a little bit sticking out uh, that's because these nails are countersunk slightly so that gets held whoops, up against the nail um, and the reason for that is someone then on the inside uses uh, a roving tool which is a bit something a bit like this uh, but with a hole in the middle uh, and they slide it down over the rove whack it with a hammer so the big lump of metal is stopping the nail from coming back out at that point we then use a ball peen hammer to round off the end of the nail on the inside okay but we'll jump inside the boat and we'll have a look at that that side of things So they're, you know, around the area where I keep the boat, there are quite a lot of farms and there's been quite a lot of field fires and things like that um, because during the day it's getting up to the 30s and we've had that weather now for about six weeks with, without any rain, which, like I say, is pretty, pretty unusual for the UK to have a hot spell so long. Um, not really complaining because I quite like the hot weather but Andromeda doesn't like it. Obviously, you know, the, the sunshine on our planks and on the woodwork is really not very good at all. What I'm hoping is, if we can get the boat fully tightened up, um, and then I'm gonna put a bead of something called butyl rubber, 
along each seam just on the outside to stop the water coming in to try and help stop water coming in once I've done that the hull will then be put in the water so it's got a chance to take up and I'm going to refit the engine and um, all of the interior and that kind of stuff once it's in the water maybe not the engine I'll probably lift her back out to put the engine in uh, but what I'm hoping is that that will be done around September, October time, maybe November, so that she's got all winter to be in the water and start to take up. I know most people take their boats out of the water in the winter. This one needs to be in the water so that by next summer she should be ready to go sailing, which will be really good. just about it for this time thank you for watching all the support makes a massive difference to the project if you want to find out a bit more about andromeda and how you can get involved follow the link to the website below